I love hip hop. I have a deep love for hip hop. Uh, I'm a hip hop producer. I'm a hip hop artist. I will always be that. But it is safe to say that it has helped perpetuate the worst part of our culture. And the most money it's made has gone to those that don't look like us, which is even worse. How can you, excuse me, how can you, as a 40-something-year-old man, be a part of something that could potentially take a young man's freedom from him for the rest of his life? Some of these men endure sexual abuse especially when they go to prison. Do you know? Listen, listen, listen. For a man whom is not homosexual, for his body to be violated by another man has to be the most humiliating thing ever. I'm humanizing the prisoner too because he's human first. He's a man. If you don't want to be better, I don't think you're being manly at all. If you can't look at yourself and say you're wrong, you have to critique yourself. And then as a brother, if you look upon another brother and you and you don't even want to at least pull him to the side, if you can, um, that's a problem. I love my people dearly. But I do think there's a divide. I think there are those of us that are uh, wanting to progress in our culture, trying to figure it out. And then I think there's a book of us that don't want to progress in our culture that just loves nigga shit, if I'm just being honest. I don't really know how else to put that. Because how do you refer to the twerking? So y'all held up like traffic in a Oh, those paper tags are everywhere because they was in one of them old ass car. You be seeing like a car in 1992 with some fucking paper tags on it. Like it's the most ridiculous thing that's happening in the city right now. But they're holding up traffic and they're popping it. And it's viral. We love it. We're, we're ingesting this shit. Why why can't we have the conversation? I don't think we can. I think we're embarrassed. I think when we really think about what we've held loyalty to for so long, it hurts. I really do think that whether it's religion, whether it's our where this gang culture, you you've put your allegiance in something your whole life. You put a belief into something. And once that framework is gone, I think it just makes people lose it. Um how can I go worship in a place where I'm seeing someone abusing others? I'm attaching this experience to God. I'm asking God why he ain't doing nothing to stop this. Now I'm questioning the entire faith based off of someone I've seen. Uh, in this gang culture, it's like, okay, I watched my best friend get killed. I want you to understand something. Nipsey Hussle changed cowboy's life and he cared and showed him genuine love as a brother you mean he can't go to court and say that's the bitch ass motherfucker that shot my friend put him away he can't do that there's no like modifications to bullshit think about the blind shit that niggas hold themselves to anything that i've done in life I did it by myself and I was able to take whatever that came with it. I'm not a square. Don't get it fucked up. Um, but I'm a man. I got a family. I got to be here for him. Got to provide for him. I'm going to get into my final thought here. Cause I think, I, I think this started off kind of slow. But it definitely did pick up because I just had to get that off my chest. I think this is a great time for me to really get into what I want this show to attack and get into, which is the gender war between black men and black women. Because I really do believe 
at the foundation of all these problems is the family. It's not together. If we had a reasonable man in the home. And listen, people break up. So I'm not even saying that they have to necessarily even just stay together. But at least the man father seeing his children and he's present and he's talking. There will be a lot more guidance going on, especially when it comes to faith. Because the, if you can't go to your parents, who can you go to? If you can't go to your parents and say that someone's harming me, who can you go to? That should be the very first place you go. That is that is home base. That is protection. If anything's going on, daddy's supposed to pop up. Oh boy, Drew the charm guy pop up. You fuck with my family, you got a problem. And that's how it should be. But because we don't believe in gender roles and all this other bullshit, can I be? Can I come in and tell you what to do and how to do it? But not only that, can I be responsible as a man and actually be providing? Because that would eliminate that issue at the church. When you can go to your parents and say, well, what do you think about this? What do you think about God? What that? Your parents should be talking to you first. Before you join a fucking gang, you should be talking to your daddy. Yo, daddy, I don't got an OG. I got a daddy. I don't, I don't have no grown men outside my daddy that I got to call and deal with. Because I ain't protected by the Second Amendment to fire your ass up if you come with some bullshit. Because I'm an American citizen. That's what I chose to be. Everybody's caught up in the wrong thing. And I really don't think there's a cure for it. I just think we got to talk about it. And you hear somebody like me and you analyze it. And then you start to want to grow from there. Rather than that, I'm not trying to change your mind on anything. At all. Because if you're willing to fight at Disney World over some bullshit, I don't, I don't want to live by you either. If you're going to stop on the freeway and twerk with your bonnet on, I don't want to live by you either. Niggas know they be trying to go to these semi-white neighborhoods or these mixed communities where you ain't got to deal with nigga shit. I want to go into a restaurant and they have what I need. Yeah. Yeah. It's really something to think about in our culture that we have to have the harsh conversation on and stop being so sensitive. I think I'm going to call this episode, I agree with Kim Burrell. I'm with Kim Burrell. I'm going to say what the fuck I want to say, where I want to say it to, and I'm not that expensive either. I'm going to just... I, I'm going to say what the fuck I want to say, where I want to say it, because I'd rather you either fuck with me or not. And she don't give a fuck. And she's still going to be singing, ooh, to the Lord and all that shit, even though she said some wild fucking shit. I, like, I think she's setting an example for everyone in the fucking church and in any organization. Where, be your fucking self. You like pussy, bro? That's what you like? Hey, say that so we can get somebody else up here who may need to be doing their job and you're not trying to fuck somebody's wife in here. Let us know that. Hey, bro, you like boys? Cool. We're not tripping on that, man. Hey, come as you are. Come get the word. But we're probably not going to have you as, you know what I'm saying, the choir director over the kids. I'm just being honest. Nobody's caring about things until they've happened. And that's the problem. You don't want to call things out when they're when you can see it. Oh, by the way, we not supporting 40-year-old gangsters. Sorry, that's weird. We're going to grow up. We're going to be men and take care of our families. That's what we're going to do. I think Snoop Dogg crip walking on the stage, to me, I, I, I think that sets an example that we don't need. And that's no disrespect to any gang member. It's just truthful because how can it's the same thing in church. I want to believe in you, but I'm seeing the molester over there. I want to think you're a better organization, but that nigga's gotten taken down for a Rico and he's gone forever. If you don't see the parallel here, you're weird. You're a part of the thing that's going down here because the world is on fire. I don't see how y'all don't see that. Let's have the dialogue. 
let's talk about it without trying to kill each other. Because they've been slaughtering us since we got here. Let's clean our shit up. Let's do better. Put the motherfucking bonnets up. That shit not cool. It's not attractive. It's real ghetto. It's real homely of you. Okay? Stop fighting in front of them people. In front of them kids. Get your shit together. Man, it's been a charm hour.